Hey guys, Food Alchemist here. Um, today we're doing another one of my catch and cooks. And uh, what, what we'll be doing today is just a bit of uh, coastal foraging. So I'll explain to you what's going to happen. All you need is um, simple, simple tools, just a bucket and a towel to dry off and the right kind of tide. So by the time we get to the spot, it's going to be a low tide. And that's what we're aiming for because we'll be walking in knee deep water and foraging for cockles. And there's also one other thing that I might stress out is you also need one of these is a, a fishing permit. Um, these are quite inexpensive. You can get them online at the Department of Primary Industries uh, website and you get one for three days, a month, one year or three years. So yep, so once we get there and I'll show you what, what will happen. We've got to the spot and um, as you can see the tide is half low, it's still dropping, but uh, it's low enough for us to do our thing. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, all I needed was a bucket, got my GoPro in there, and this is just my little flotation device so I don't have to carry it while I'm in the water. Uh, so um, stay tuned, follow me and see what happens. Oh yeah, they got like just just move a little bit and then This is the result of um, my foraging <laughs> so far. <laughs> Hasn't been quite as what I'd like it to be, but um, still enough for a bit of a catch and cook. So um, stay tuned for that when we get home, clean these up, and um, I'll show you what I'll do. Give it a cut. Okay, so we're back from our foraging. Um, and as promised, um, here's another session of our catch and cook. So um, I'll show you the result of yesterday's catch. Now there's more or less about 50 odd cockles in there and that's just due to our foraging. Um, there is a limit to these, it's 50 per person per day and there was a couple few of us uh, cockling yesterday so uh, we were well under the limit but um, nonetheless there's still quite a few here that, um, for a good catch and cook demonstration for you. So the um, reason I've got two separate batches here, these are the batch that they haven't been washed, they've been just taken out to sea. Now they will stay alive for up to four or five days if you don't do anything, like uh, just leave them as is. And these, I've actually given a scrub and washed in fresh water. And these are the ones that I've prepared for um, our catch and cook today. So uh, this recipe that I'm doing is inspired by a street food uh, recipe that um, I, I experienced uh, on a trip, a recent trip overseas in Vietnam. So that's why, hence why I've got an outdoor kitchen. So I'm trying to replicate it as much as I can to be your street food stand. So I'll um, just give you a quick rundown what, what I'm planning to do. So you've got a few basic ingredients. You've got your cockles, obviously. Um, there's some kappa lime leaves, some green chilies, a few coats of garlic, um, lemon juice, some sriracha and soy sauce and sugar. So 
So the idea of that is basically this is going to be cooked on charcoal, but um, I will open up the cockles first, um, then I'll place them on the charcoal, and then all of these ingredients will be just combined to be like a basting marinade that will go on top of it and finish them off quite nicely. And with the ingredients that I have on hand there, I know it's going to be good. So, so I'll just give you a demonstration how I open up a cockle. So you go into the butt end like that, use just the blunt object and then that separates the membranes. And then you can just stick your sharp end in there without cutting yourself and it opens up quite nicely. Like so, separate one membrane from one outside of the shell. And there you have it. Nicely shacked cockle. Just place this over here. So these will just go onto the charcoal later on. Once they've kind of like started bubbling, then I'll add the basting on because we don't want to overpower, but keep the subtleness of it. The, the mayonnaise is just generally just to complement the taste of the cockles. Now, when you've got fresh ingredients like this, yes, there's no, you shouldn't overcomplicate it because it's quite divine as it is. explain to you a bit more about um, this recipe I'm doing. It's my own take of a Thai recipe and a Vietnamese recipe because uh, on my recent travels I went to both Thailand and Vietnam and I had these on separate occasions with two very different styles. In Vietnam the taste is entirely different to how they do it in Thailand. Same, same cockle, but um, just the ingredients they used to marinate it is totally different. And I've actually included my own food alchemy to it, so I've taken the best of both worlds and combined it. So as you see the kaffir lime leaf, it's a common use in Thailand, that was one of the ingredients. And in Vietnam, they used more of a chili and a chopped garlic. And there was also lemongrass too, but I'm not going to add that because the capelline leaf has a very similar aroma to the lemongrass anyway, so... Just um, every little bit. Now we just add a bit of lemon juice. 
think for this batch we'll do the whole lemon because I'll do a bit extra for the others. Just a splash of fish sauce because the cockles have salt in there already from the seawater. So this is just for a bit of flavouring, not so much to add salt. And the sriracha actually adds colour because I've used green chilli, but um, it also gives it a more body and a depth of flavour as well because something about hot sauce and shellfish they, they seem to go hand in hand very nicely and I'll just put a bit of water too just to um, dilute it a little bit because we only want to have a light marinade and there you have it so now I'll go ahead and put these on the charcoal and then um, once they start bubbling, I'll add the marinade and uh, we'll follow through. Alright, now that the cockle's about halfway there, I'm going to add the basil marinade. And as you can see that um, I am slightly suffering from holiday blues, so <laughs> I've tried to replicate this to as close to a street food vendor as I could. This is pretty much what it's like. Cooked on the charcoals, fresh ingredients. They're just gonna finish off nicely, just at the time of putting this on the last one. All right, it's time to plate it up. Bit of garnish. That's just fresh, fresh mint from my garden. A couple of lime leaves. And there you have it, either 50,000 dong or about 100 baht for the price of um, a dish like this. Very inexpensive and also served with your best favourite ale. Now let's have a taste. Cockles a bit chewy, but still the flavor is quite nice. And as I said, with the combination of the greens on hand, I knew it was going to be good. Um, so if you do get a chance, give it a go yourself because anyone can do this. All you need is a fishing license and you can do your research and find the estuaries that carry these cockles. Um, 
and then you can go out and just follow the limits and have a great day, cook good food and have fun while doing it. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for more, subscribe and share. Until then, bye for now.